Hello and welcome everyone to the live view exercises. Today we have a pair with another exercise as in which we are using some home security system in which we will using some this numpads as you can see to press OK and then open this door or close. So right now if I just uh, run this program um, we can see that uh, when we will press these buttons uh, then a password will be like entered as one two three or whatsoever in the form of the strike function so I will keep it as like a password so when I press uh, something uh, pr press this search button as you can see this will be showing me like it is in the number form so to keep it as a password or to keep it secure we will just be using these static function uh, in general so if I just uh, after entering these buttons or like something and now if I just press clear as you can see everything is cleared if I just entered the wrong password uh, and I know that it is wrong so I just have to press the clear so now again if I just press the correct password then I press ok then it shows me the door is open and then if I press clear now it is the door is again closed now I will stop my program and let's just get back to our new VI so that we can see how this program is basically works and how this program is built and make our and do our exercise so first of all I need to show the numpad basically so I'll go to silver and go to boolean and there I will find out the buttons and uh, I will use a very simple ones and uh, make some changes within it so I will just use a uh, boolean text in here as one and remove its uh, uh, go to visible items and remove its label basically So now I will make a copies until I see uh, I have enough copies like from 0 to 9. So now after creating these uh, booleans now I can just show it as numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now after creating these booleans as numpad now we want to use two more buttons as well as an ok button so that once I will enter my password I can use this button as ok. I will also move its label again and then uh, this ok button will be like after entering this password and then I will press ok and then the door will be open. And the next button it will be like uh, my clear button which will be used to like remove my password when I know I have entered the wrong password so I will be used it to remove the password and send a, a, a string in here so as you can see in here uh, now uh, what I want to use is cluster basically so as uh, as you can see if I just jump back to my block diagram there are a lot of uh, uh, numpad buttons so it will be making like more clutter of wires so we we just have to handle a lot more many more wires so to save from these wires we will be just using a cluster this is the very best example of using cluster since when we have large number of inputs we can use cluster so that we can remove a lot number of wires as well We can also remove its background by pressing this transparent function. Oops, it is creating two green, so we just have to use the back ones. So now it will be like uh, transparent, whatsoever is the background of the panel, this will be the background of this cluster as well.
that uh, uh, we will be using this search one d array function to find out the index basically so to find out its index we must have to build an array So very important thing in here that we should must be connect the right boolean with the right entrance or the right terminal so that it will not mix up with the index level of the button. So we will start from here. So zero will be our first element and then so on we will be using like uh, one two three four and five and so on so what we are looking is which button is uh, turned to true or it is turned on so we'll just be looking for the true function only we can also check its mechanical functions latch when released so here we can use a slider function in here so that it will be represented as our door so it means that uh, from 0 to 100 it will be showing that if the door is open or close so we can make some adjustments and show it like it is a door so as you can see in here the i'm sh it is showing me the tip strip over uh, our sliding bar so it will be showing me the numbers basically like 41 50 or 100 whatsoever so i wouldn't want it to show me like this way so that it is not giving me an idea that it is a slider so i will be just removing the show tip slip function and then uh, changing its uh, color so that it will give me an appropriate idea that it is working as a door so again we can just change its background as well so just go to view and here in the tools palette we can just uh, change its background to any other color so that will be giving me idea like it is the door is right now closed or open so in this way in this way the door is open right now and if i just turn it back in the form of green then it means the door is closed so right now here we can use a string function as well So another string function is like used here so that we can see if the door is open or closed so again I will remove its label and I can also make it uh, uh, transparent so that only the background will be visible and we can just see the text in here like whether it is the door is open or closed only will be written but we will not getting its background. So here the important thing is we will be using all elements in our event structure so that if any one of from these uh, cluster will be pressed then it means the event structure will be activated.
let's just check out if we are getting these numbers correctly or not So again I will be using a while loop in here as well and let's just see that if this uh, right now the constant is false so that will be running uh, a long way uh, until unless we just abort the, our program. Right now as you can see whatsoever I button is pressing it is appearing me as a number but uh, what we need is we also want to keep uh, our previous values as well we will be using a concatenating function within the string so I'll use the output uh, as like a shift register in here by using the loop so that every value will be retained and the starting is from the empty string and the then i will connect it with my concatenating string first terminal so now if i just check whether i am getting our previous values or not then as you can see i will be getting my previous values as well 